Hi friend, based on the request made by few subscribers, I am making quite a few financial function videos. To start with, let's have this function where I want to find out monthly EMI what I need to pay if I have to buy a car worth 10 lakhs over a period of next 3 years wherein the loan interest is around 10%. I want to find out EMI, so PMT is the function to calculate. Because I am making equated monthly installments, I need to convert this by 12. I am freezing so that I can copy across 36 months. Then you have period that is NPER. So let's freeze this because it is a monthly installment. So I need to convert that into per month that will be into 12. Then the present value is the loan what you have taken that is a positive value because that's an inflow for us. And the type is whether the interest will be calculated at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. Default value that is at the end of the month. So 30,653 is the equated installment over a period of 3 years. We got around 11 lakh is what we are paying. So balance will be the interest but still I want to find out what will be the monthly interest. In that case I can use the function called IPMT to calculate the interest payment per month. So the rate again let's freeze this by 12. Then you have period. The period is the one for which month you want to calculate the interest. So first month, second month, third month. So in this case, I am calculating for the first month. So let's freeze the column C and the NPER. That is again for how many months I am taking into 12 because that's an equated monthly installment. Then you have the present value. That is the loan what you have taken. This is what the monthly interest I'll be paying at the end of three years. That is going to be 153. But still I want to find out what will be the balance I have to pay by the end of first month or second month third month that is the principal balance out of this equated installment of 30,000 the balance amount is principal but still I can use a function called PPMT that is the principal payment again going by the same options rate divided by 12 the period the first month let's freeze column C then you have NPER so that is number of years into 12 then you have the present value that is the inflow of 950 and let's freeze that as well so first month out of the EMI 22,000 is the principal at the end of the term we will be paying 9,50,000. That's 2 minutes for you guys. Thank you.